Hi everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to do a ribbon pour on some license plate frames. These are just cheap plastic license plate frames that I bought at Walmart. I got a new car over the weekend. I ordered a custom license plate, so I wanted to make custom frames to go along with it. My new license plate is going to say Flow Art, which is really cool, and I'm really excited to get it. So anyway, I've never seen anybody do license plate frames. I'm not even sure how much paint I need, but I'm gonna make one cup for each frame and hopefully that's enough paint. I'm going to be using a series of blue paints. One of them is like a turquoise that was made up of leftover stuff off the table. This is Artist Loft Green Yellow, Artist Loft Black, and Liquitex Basics Primary Blue. I'm going to add silicone, the treadmill silicone, this one right here, to these two paints. And then I'm not going to put silicone in these that are pre-mixed in the bottles. I've already pre-sprayed my cups with blaster lubricant so that the paint flows out easier. And let's get started. First I'm putting some silicone into these little cups. Thinking three drops in each one would be enough. Stir that up just a little bit. The more you stir, the lower the cells become. Not sure you can see that. I call this one mystery turquoise. It's a combination of different blues. Love this yellow green. The reason I picked these colors is, first off, these are my favorite color. Turquoise is actually my favorite color, but this is these are in the same color family. And then my car is black, so I figured this plate would really pop from the black on the car. And I got a brand new Toyota CHR. I'm going to put a little bit more paint in the cups just to make sure I have enough to cover the frames. I've never seen this on the internet anywhere so I'm hoping they turn out looking cute. And if it comes out a horrible mess I can always do it again and just turn them over <laughs> to the other side. off with the green yellow or yellow green. I'm going to give each cup a little swirl. Oops, almost lost that. See a little bit of selling starting in those. I'm going to bring it in a little closer so you can see. Okay, so here we go. I know you guys can't see this close up, but it's really amazing. I'm so happy with how it looks right now. I'm just going to do a very little bit of tilting just to make sure I cover all the edges after I pour on the, the next one. I think I mixed just about the perfect amount of paint too. Okay, that cup's done. Here's what it looks like inside. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think my camera is focusing on that. So now, frame number two. I have to say I'm extremely excited about the way these turned out. So far, they're gorgeous. And that was just about the right amount of paint to do these, not too much wasted. I'm going to 
torch them a little bit to see if I get any more cells coming up. So if you guys are going to do this, be careful because these are plastic and they probably will melt. So just a little bit of light torching. happy let these sit for a moment and then tilt them a little bit just to make sure everything goes over the edges it's funny how you can put the same paints in different cups and get a little bit different outcomes like this one has probably more black in it than this one trickier than pouring on a stretched canvas. Just going to make sure I get paint to cover the inside edges and the outside edges all the way around. It's kind of awkward to figure out a way to hold these and get the paint over the edges. Looks like everything has been covered. After these have dried for about 30 days, that gives them time to cure, I will be spraying them with a clear coating to seal the paint. Um, I'm looking for something weatherproof. So when I do uh, find out which product I'm going to use, I will put that in my link. I'm absolutely thrilled with the way that these came out. I think they're gorgeous and they're going to be a great addition to my new car and my new license plate. I'm just happy beyond belief. Far better than I could have imagined that they would be. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Stay tuned for close-ups. I'll see you next time. Bye!